are joined by the pioneers and founders of Starmus, Dr. Garrick Israelian, Dr. May, Mr. Jar. Thank you so much for finding time and joining me for this interview of Starmus Diaries. Um, standing with you, it's not only a huge privilege for me, but I also find it very symbolic because just like today you met 16 years ago when you were just discussing this big project which now became the greatest festival and one and only festival of science communication. Do you feel like it's a full circle moment right now? Yeah, we were recreating the picture that uh, we took all those years ago just now. And it's a very nice feeling because we were just boys really looking back. We all had black hair and uh, <laughs> and lots of it and you know we had this dream we had this idea that really science and art should not be separate they should be together because then that's when the best things happen and it was kind of a crazy idea I mean this is really Garrick's idea but we thought yeah we could do this and uh, and now standing here the dream has, has come alive and especially with Jean-Michel here you know it was a great moment and uh, a moment we all dreamed of how long did it take to come up with this program that you performed today? 16 years. It's <laughs> <laughs> so a hard, hard work, day and, day and night, day and night, you know. No, but, uh, uh, you know, seriously, I think what, what makes the beauty of, uh, of a project like this is, uh, is the, 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 uh, the fact that, um, you know, the dream they, they both had together 16 years ago is now becoming even more important today. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you think that uh, how politicians, mm -hmm. how politics is limited to try to find solutions for future generations. Mm -hmm. I mean, artists, scientists, private entrepreneurs are used to think outside the box, to think uh, uh, in, a, in a sense, uh, in, a, in a disruptive way. Mm -hmm. And uh, more than ever today, we, we will be very happy to contribute to try to, 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 to find the path for future generations to learn, to, to share this, this idea that artists and scientists have to think in a different way, to reinvent their future. And you can only invent in the future if you think outside the box. So you have to learn from the past, but you have, you have to create from the future and you have to, to listen to, to the future to the information that could 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 uh, uh, could come from the future this is the reason why this project is called bridge from the future we have also not to learn from the past but also to listen to the future and this is what we're trying to do and i think it's the 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 the, the old meaning and the reason why of starmus and i'm i'm quite honored we are quite honored to be part of this first diary that you are yeah. creating with Starmus is actually to, to, to gather all these brilliant minds to uh, uh, share with uh, especially future generations this kind of not only appetite to the future but not to be afraid of it. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Sometimes we are afraid but we shouldn't be. We shouldn't be so much as in our yeah, hands. Not necessarily. We can, we, uh, you know, Technology, for instance, and uh, and progress is neutral. is all depending on what we are doing with this. So mm -hmm. we have to be aware, not naive, but not necessarily pessimistic. Exactly, positive, optimistic. I agree. Um, Dr. May, I remember you said during the press conference that you feel as a guest to Mr. Jar's musical world. Mm. I would like to ask how this whole collaboration was going. What would you like to share? <laughs> so many tears and so much blood. Well, it's very interesting because we've been friends for a long time, but not creating together. And I was nervous, I think, because it's a very different world. We are kind of brothers. We think in many ways very similar, yeah. but the way we make music is very different. The worlds that we operate in technically are completely like opposites. And for me, I've always been able to lead and everything has been open. And in order to work with, with Jean-Michel, I have to follow some of the time, which is really hard for me, you know, visually and sonically and whatever. But um, so for me, it was hard, but it, it's very rewarding. You know, you step into an area where you're not confident, you're not comfortable and something great happens. And Jean-Michel has been very generous with me. We've had lots and I mean, so many conversations and so many emails. And he was able to come into my world to an extent because we did, you know, some of what I used to do with Queen. 
um, and the, the, the Dvorak piece, uh, which is very free, and he was able to follow me. And so we, we had a lot of give and take, and um, for me it's one of the most rewarding things I, I've ever done. Very difficult, I'm honestly, very difficult for me. I, I mean, it's weeks. How many weeks did we work on this? Well, we had 10 weeks, maybe. Yeah, maybe yeah, 10, 10 weeks. And a weeks, lot yeah. of yeah. attention. And still in my hotel room today, I played the pieces and I thought, I don't know this stuff. I still don't know it. You know? <laughs> but, you know, and it wasn't perfect tonight. But the thing about a live show is it's not perfect, but it's a moment and it's yeah. something that you Absolutely. treasure because of the danger and infinite possibilities. So I come off and I think, oh, I didn't do this right. But I also think, that was a moment. That was a privilege to, to, to work with this guy and to make something special. The yeah. moment was amazing. Great. Good. <laughs> this moment was amazing. I would like to. I would like to add that actually, it was dangerous and wild. This whole project is dangerous and wild. I think Starmus is dangerous and wild. This guy is very dangerous and wild as well. And uh, and what what uh, I'm. We are both night birds. We are both kind of vampire me we, too we don't, we, we, <laughs> me too and then but but the, the fact that most of the time he was calling me or leaving messages at four four o'clock in the morning but with one hour difference it was five in paris oh. <laughs> so it was very very late you know <laughs> but it but worked made out it. amazing but we made it, it yes. worked yeah. out amazing yeah. it's yeah. a historical moment historical i'm so lucky that i witnessed this even more lucky that I'm standing with you right now. Yeah, thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. In the audience, I must say. Yeah, yeah, I felt yeah. that the audience understood this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah they did. The they did. The whole crowd. I don't know if there were concerts like this with the, this big of crowd in Slovakia. No, 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 not, not, not this kind. And I think if I can add something, I've been waiting for this moment 16 years, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because <laughs> it's, it's all because of, so this has been always in my mind because I remember very well our first meeting in Royal Albert Hall. I was there and I was terrorized. I'm, I'm with Brian and, and Jean-Michel Jarre. And probably I was the only one who I knew by heart all albums of Jean-Michel. I grew up with his music and I also grew up with Queen. So I knew everything about Queen and I knew everything about Jean-Michel. So when I was coming with this, how and where they are going to collaborate. Yeah, I've been running this in my brain for 16 years. And I had so many things in my head. And when I've heard this today, actually, the laser hype with Time Machine was mind-blowing. I was not expecting this. I had any kind of idea except that one. <laughs> this was really the best. And uh, yeah, I was really thrilled. So this is the moment. <laughs> this is the moment. This and this is, is Starmus 7. Yeah. I have to, can I add something? To, of course. We should talk more about Garrick, who is the founder. Yeah, absolutely. You know? And there's a strange story because I first met Garrick because he had this idea for a film and the film was about a huge storm that happens on the sun and so all this material gets ejected towards the earth and it makes an, a, a, a worldwide disaster. Strangely enough, the last few days we've seen not quite the disaster but a very brilliant display of, of aurora because of this very event. So to me there's a sort of full circle yeah, yeah, there yeah, as well. Interesting. Yeah, very, interesting very interesting thing. Yeah, yeah. Very interesting, yeah. That was 98. Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. called The Loop. <laughs> oh, the, loop. the loop and the film never got made although other people made something similar didn't yes. they you know yeah. but uh, it's strange that we come that the three of us come together yeah uh, at a time when something very exceptional is happening in space yeah. and um, yeah. and also the weekend of the of one of the biggest solar storm yeah yeah it's quite interesting also yeah yeah yeah, yeah. This is the loop. Actually, yeah, exactly. exactly. You're right. yeah, yeah. We like all like missed it. Yeah, we we missed it. missed it because we, we, we were stuck in, in <laughs> a warehouse. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah look at this place. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you okay, so thank much you. for thank finding you. time. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Inauguration of Star. Inauguration Diaries. of Starmos Diaries. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>